Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Brant with CPC Bodybuilding, the home of men's classic physique. Got a real treat for you guys today. We've got a preview of the Fit World Pro in men's classic physique, and I've got IFBB Pro two-time Olympian. He'll be making his second Olympia appearance this year. Just made his Arnold Classic debut. Two-time pro champion, Damian Patrick. Damian, thanks for joining the show, man. My pleasure, man. Um, like I said to you, before we started, it's I've watched you do these, and it's an honor to be on here. And uh, let's get to it, man. Let's have some fun. Yeah, let's do it, man. So we've got the the Fit World Pro this weekend, guys. It's going to be Saturday, April thirteenth. But before we get to the Fit World Pro coverage, I want to make sure to give our special guest Damien a big shout out, and make sure you guys can find him here on social media. So this is his Instagram page. Pretty easy to find. It's just his name, Damien Patrick. You can find all of his links here. He's got his own coaching. He's got his own uh, clothing line. And also check him out on YouTube. Damien is like one of the OG fitness YouTubers. <laughs> so make sure you guys check him out there. He has great workouts. Uh, if you guys are looking to find some really solid workout content from a high level pro who knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about. So Thank you. make Thank sure you give Damien a follow here. And without further ado, we'll check out the lineup here for the Fit World Pro. This is going to be an awesome show. We got a lot of top quality athletes in this show and a lot of up and comers too. So we've got Eric Avalon, Rashad Brooks, Eric Brown Jr., Tom Connolly, Jeremy Fontanet, Zanyar Goddardpour, Phil New, Kendall Richmond, Jordan Trip Arthur, and Jeremiah Willies. And like I said, super deep lineup. We got a lot of guys who are coming off the Charlotte Pro or the Arnold Classic. So recent shows, a lot of these guys have been in shape and they're trying to find their qualification for the Olympia this year. So without further ado, here's our first competitor. This is Eric Avalon, who finished in fourth last week at the Charlotte Pro. Damien, you've had a chance to see Eric. What are you thought on his physique? Um, Eric is actually a friend of mine. Um, I think he's got amazing muscle bellies. The guy's obviously very genetically gifted. Um, he's done really well in his shows. He's, I think he's a threat. Um, he could easily win this show. He could be one of the guys that could, he's going to be in first call out in my opinion. He could definitely be one of the guys that could take the show. Um, it really comes down to who comes in. I think this, it's going to come down to who comes in the most conditioned here. It's like you said, we've got some seasoned vets. Um, so it's really going to be about who wants it more, but I think I have Eric as a first call out type of guy for sure. hundred percent. Yeah. I think you really highlighted one of his biggest strengths and that's his muscle bellies. He's just got that like extra pop to his muscle that not a lot of people have. And yeah. just his density is just so awesome. I, I really love his shape too. This front shot's great for him. Yeah. I think he's um, got, and also I think he's probably got some of the best legs in this show for sure um i mean look, look at the quad sweep it's crazy he's got a tiny waist i think the only thing that hurts eric is his posing if i had to critique one thing i think he like he said he has such a good physique he he poses himself sometimes where he makes his physique not look not as good as it is does that make sense so he's not really posing sometimes to his strengths i think so I think if you tweak that a little bit, this guy is going to be a serious problem for anybody. But it's he's got it all there. Yeah, like you said, it's all there. It's just a matter of you know nailing the things that you can control, the condition and the yeah. posing. Like, yep, so exactly. That is Eric Avalon. Next up, we got a, a pro debut for Rashad Brooks. So he turned pro at North Americans in 2022. Mm -hmm. And... I really like his shape. He's got great density. You can see here in the side chest. Damien, what what do you think are some of Rashad's strengths? So actually, I I know him personally. He goes to my gym, <laughs> and he's a uh, he's a friend of mine. Um, this is his first show, so it's gonna be. I I mean, obviously, there's a lot of question marks there. He definitely is gonna. He's this guy works super hard. Like <laughs> he was doing crazy. I mean, he does crazy amounts of cardio more than anybody I know. Like he's nonstop. Like up at 5 a.m. in the morning doing 90 minutes of cardio. Like, he works super hard. Um, great. From this shot here, you can see he has great hamstring drop. His legs look great from this side. 
Um, I think his conditioning is going to be his strong point, in my opinion. Um, he actually, <laughs> he actually reminds he's got a mini Kai Green shape in some shots. Mm. If you, yeah, if you look at him in like some of his shots, like his back double bicep, he's got that same shape of, as Kai Green has in his back double bicep. Um, but it's a mystery. I think he could potentially pull a first call out, but it's his first pro show, and you and I both know. Obviously, it's a different level. This is going to be more of a learning experience for him than anything else. You know, he's going to go out there, give his best, and then, you know, see where you stack up. Come back for another one if you need to come back for another one. Um, I'm hoping he does really well. Like I said, he's a friend of mine, and he works he works his ass off. So, Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, if you're, if you're starting out the season in April, there's plenty yeah. of opportunities, too. So this is just the first one, and you're only going to get yeah. better as you get more appearances under your belt so yeah for sure, for sure. absolutely yeah, yeah I well think, i, I mean I, we'll, be we'll get to see his physique at 100 like 100 percent. you know where he stacks up because he's definitely he's definitely a guy that tries to he has a little mystery behind him right yeah on the updates you know <laughs> he shows you a little bit but not too much <laughs> yeah it keeps you guessing so that is yeah yeah John brooks next up we've got our reigning champ from the fit world pro You've had the pleasure of competing against him multiple times, most recently at the Arnold Classic. Mm-hmm. This is Eric Brown Jr. And um, what are what are some of the things that stand out about Eric to you? So Eric is uh, he's very complete. Um, he's dense. He's, he's got that muscle maturity you can see from this shot right here. Um, super dense. His conditioning is always on point. I think it's going to be his show to lose, in my opinion, um, because he is the previous winner. <laughs> and also he's going to, it's his home, it's home turf. I know that it's bodybuilding, so it's different, but there is, you get a little bit more momentum when you're going to defend on your home turf, you're going to, you're going to work a little bit harder and you know, you got your family coming out, everybody's coming out. So I think Eric has, like I said, he's got great muscle maturity, great density. Uh, his condition is going to be on point. He's got a great back. So, you know, he, I think he's got probably one of the best backs up there. I haven't seen everybody's back. He might have the best back up there. So he's going to be hard to beat, man. Um, but you never know. It's anybody's game. I think, like I said, he's a defending champion, though. So um, I have him as a front runner. Yeah, I think you nailed it, man. He's just got, like, no weaknesses. I mean, he and I were talking at the, at the Arnold a little bit, and he and I both were kind of, you know, we had the same ideas, maybe just a touch more on the arms, and he's, mm-hmm. like, yeah. higher, you know, just a little bit yeah. more. But that's I, I was telling him, like, man, you've got all the body parts that take a long time to grow. You've got the muscle yeah. maturity. So it's like, it's really just a matter of time until, you know, he really achieves that, like, perfect classic look. And, you know, he won this yeah. show for a good reason last year. His condition was just insane at that show. It was. He beat me. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think was- he's, uh, I think he's getting better every show, too. Um, from what I could see, you know, some guys, they get, they might get worse from show to show or they, you know, they kind of stagnate, but his last couple of shows, he's looked a little bit better each show. Yeah. So that's Eric Brown Jr. Next up, we got Tom Connolly, who mm-hmm. didn't have a whole lot of updates on his Instagram. However, uh, these photos are stage photo- photos from his last appearance at the Masters Olympia where he mm-hmm. took fifth place, which is very impressive amongst yeah. you know, the best Masters pros in the world. Uh, so just looking at, at Tom's physique, Damien, what are some traits that stand out to you? So I think I actually competed against him once um, a while ago, and I, actually, I saw a recent photo of his on uh, – somebody sent it to me on Instagram. So I know he's probably going to be the hardest, grainiest guy on stage, for sure. In my opinion, I think his conditioning – it's probably going to be the hardest and the grainiest out of anybody else. He's super wide. He's got great lat spread. Um, again, not a lot of photos on him. I think he's going to be a surprise for a lot of people, though. If you don't, if you don't bring your conditioning, he's going to beat you. That's the way it's going to be because he's this guy's going to be peeled inside out, in my opinion. Yeah, and I think that that photo that you probably saw was the same one I saw. That was a uh, Leo Meyer offer. He sent that over my way. And, yes, uh, yes, that is the same photo I saw. Yeah, and he just like he he's really big up top. He's I think, a super uh, he's wide dude, look. so <laughs> he's gonna make people look small. And like I said, if they're not conditioned, he's gonna you don't want to be standing next to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So that's Tom Connolly. Next up, we got Jeremy Fontanet, who you most recently competed against at the Ultimate Warriors Pro oh, last yeah. year. The show that you won to mm -hmm. qualify for this year's Olympia. Jeremy yeah, was yeah. fourth in that show. Yeah, yeah. Um, great guy. You know, <laughs> this dude is massive in person. Like, when I saw him backstage, I was like, is this guy bodybuilding? What is he doing back here with us? I was like, I thought there was only classic physique today. I swear to God, he's a big dude in person. So he's probably going to be one of the biggest guys on the stage. His conditioning was great that day. The glutes were striated. Everything was peeled um, when he competed against me. Um, I think he's going to – I mean, he's going to do well. I think he, he has a little bit of balance issues. I think his legs are a little bit bigger than his upper body. Um, but he's not like his upper body small. It's just a little bit – if I had to give one critique – uh, I would say that would be it. Um, yeah, but I think he's he's he uh, fourth place at Ultimate Warrior, and that was a stacked lineup. So he's definitely a threat for first callouts. Yeah, that was a a sneaky good lineup at that show. A lot of yeah. really tough competitors in that show, especially from the West Coast. So I mean, Jeremy very well could be in that mix for the the first callout. Yeah, that first callout is going to be hard to predict. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, got a, you got like a guy like Eric, which you know he'll be in there because he's the defending. But I, I think it's going to be a hard one to call who's going to be in that first call up for sure. Yeah. So that's Jeremy Fontenet. Yeah. Next up, we've got another guy who Damien competed against at that Ultimate Warriors Pro. He took third place. This is Zanyar Gadarpour, who yeah, is just he is spectacular shape, man. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So again, another guy, a great guy. Um, I agree with you. Shape is phenomenal. Um, I was actually surprised to see his name on here because we, I know he wants this really badly because we spoke at the last show. Um, in my opinion, actually, at that Ultimate Warrior show, I thought he should have got second from my personal opinion, from judging from the outside. I looked at the photos afterwards and even, um, you know, when I was looking at everybody um, subjectively later on, I was like, I, th I thought he had second for sure. but. You never know what the judges are going to lean towards. Um, always, his conditioning is amazing. His structure is great. I think he's going to be a first call-out guy for sure. He might be battling for first or second. It's very possible. I know he wants he wants it really bad. So, he, like I said, after that show with me and Ultimate Warriors, he took a little time off. Um, he says he's made some improvements, so we'll see how much improvements. That's not a long period of time, but. I think he's going to be bringing his A game because he's looking for that Olympic qualification very badly. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's, got, he's got the tools for it, so he's got a chance to win. Yeah, absolutely, man. He's got a great work ethic. He's yeah, got good really balance. In the physique. Like, there's not really anything that really stands out too much. Everything flows pretty pretty well. Yeah, spot on. I I think he he's definitely going to be in the mix. Like, I would be I would be really surprised to see him outside of the top three or four. That would be oh for show. sure. For sure, hundred percent. Yeah, it's like I'm excited to see what he looks like. He's gonna look like. Yep. So that's Zanyar Gadapur. Next up, we've got a guy making his pro debut. This is Phil New. Who yeah, is yeah. Chinese American and has some of the craziest quads I have ever yeah, I seen. On say, dude. I was gonna say, look at this dude's legs, man. It's insane quads. Those might be some of the best quads in classic, even though you know he hasn't even done a pro show yet. Yeah, this was this was an NPC Nationals where he turned pro in Class A. So he's a shorter guy, yeah. but there's definitely no lack of muscle here. I think. He yeah, I looked at his profile. Player. He's very dense for a guy that's um that hasn't been competing that long. So he even for even his upper body, he's got a lot of density up there. So he's already pretty well developed. Um, the, the legs are are definitely standing out. Uh he could be a sleeper, man. Honestly, it's if he comes in peeled. Judges love this look. From my experience, they love this look. Like the guys with the massive quads and they're peeled and then they, the upper body kind of just flows in a little bit, but it's not overpowering. It's like, so he, he could be a sneaker mate. He could be the dark horse of this show for sure, easily. Yeah, he's definitely good enough to, to be in that conversation. I think the ultimate question is going to be, what is that balance between the upper body and the lower body? Because that may yeah. be the one limiting factor. Yeah, yeah. And he, like I said, he's got he's also got that structure where he has to come in 100% peeled. If he comes in a little bit off, it doesn't look as great. 
um, just because he's just got those big legs and they got to be inside. Those legs have to be inside out to get that wow factor, right? Especially when those legs are bigger. So in my opinion, he's got the potential to upset a lot of people. But it, like you said, it all depends on the balance and the conditioning. Yep. So that is Phil New. Next up, we've got, in my opinion, best natty alive. This is Kendall Richmond, who most recently uh, stood next to Damien on the Arnold yeah. Classic stage. So uh, we got – this is an update from just an hour ago. Um, oh, wow. This is rec- just recent, huh? He's looking uh, – he's definitely looking more conditioned than he was in um, the Arnold Classic. I don't even think he had a lot of time. I think – well. <laughs> Not a lot of us. Uh, the Arnold Classic was a shorter prep for a lot of people because most of us are usually used to doing longer preps. But I think he had like two weeks less than everybody else. Or yeah, something he got like called that. like 10 weeks because Terrence wasn't yeah. able to do it. Yeah, I think we all had like 12 weeks and he had like 10 weeks or something like that. So he's going to come in looking better. Great shape, of course. He's got a great structure. Um, definitely, he, he the guy works hard without a doubt. I know you've seen his Instagram stories. Uh, he's another dark horse for me. You never know what, you don't know what he's going to end up. He's actually a really big guy too, in person, um, which is for a natty. That's very respectable, right? Because the, usually the natties, you, you start to cut down, you, you lose the size. That's where you, you get hurt on. Um, I think for him, the only thing that could possibly hurt him right now, and he's still, he's still a younger guy. So he's still developing the back. I think that's like the only thing that might hurt him. Um, but great, great chest, great arms, legs look great, glutes are great. I mean, he's he's got the package. It's just a matter of where the, what the judges are looking for, I think. Yeah, I, I think you made a really good point, too, with he is a lot bigger in person than a lot of people he realize. He's big. He's a big dude. You see him standing next to me. I consider myself one of the bigger guys, and he's right there. He's, I don't make him look small, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. yeah, he looks bigger in person, for sure. And he looks bigger on stage when he's standing next to people. Yeah, and I think if his, if his condition is – the thing is, his condition is always good. It's just a yeah. matter of when when you're natural, there is uh, a little bit of a, an element where it's like you may not be able to achieve that, like, hard, grainy look that Absolutely. some of the advanced guys can, can obtain. Yeah. And that's really the one thing I think he's been – really trying to figure out with recent yeah, part yeah. too. I have to agree with you. Um, yeah, it's a matter of getting that dry, grainy look. Uh, it's, it's way, I think it's harder for naturals to get to that look. Um, you always seem like you might have a little bit of water under the skin, or your, but the conditioning is there. But it's just the look that's not there. Yeah, so so, that but is- he looks, like I said, here he looks better than he did at the Arnold already. You can actually see the glutes are in more. Um, then they wore the arm on the lower back. You can see that's in more. So we'll see what happens. It's really about how he's gonna, he's gonna. It's how he's gonna peak the next couple of days, right? Yeah, spot on. That's Kendall Richmond. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him in the first call out, though. That'd be fun to see that. Yeah, I agree, man. I'd lo- I'd love to see the comparisons with some of these yeah. guys. Cause I know I know he can hold his own in terms of size. So yeah, yeah, for sure. So next up, we've got. A guy who just most recently competed at the Charlotte Pro last weekend this mm-hmm. is Jordan Trip Arthur. He made the top ten. He's a bit of a shorter guy, but his condition is spectacular. He always nails the condition. That's one thing that yeah. he controls. Um, I think you know sometimes it's it's tougher for some of these shorter guys to to get good looks when they're next to lineups where everybody's tall. Like this Charlotte lineup Absolutely. had so many big guys. And, you know, I think that kind of worked against him. But, you know, in this lineup, I think I think Jordan makes a good case to be able to battle for that first call out. Yeah, I think so. Um, like you said, conditioning is great. I actually competed against him at the mid USA pros. I believe he was first call fourth or fifth. I think he got. Yeah, I think he's fifth. And, uh, yeah. And I remember I'm, <laughs> I remember being on stage and uh, on that first call out. You know, I normally we always look at each other. We always get a look. We look around and check each other out real quick. And I looked over and I looked and I'm like, damn, that guy's that dude's peeled inside out, right? And I was like, he's got a lot of density. Like for a shorter guy, he's got all the muscle maturity already. So I'm like, this dude's gonna make first call out. I, that's what I said in my head. I was like, this dude's gonna make first call out. And he made first call out in that show. So he's got the tools. I think the only thing that hurts him um, is probably which hurts a lot of guys is 
and it just takes time, man, is that back maturity. Um, some of those muscles in the back are not all fully developed. And that's just time. You know what I mean? It's just a little bit of time. That's all it is. But his quads are are greatly developed. He's got the hamstrings. He's got the glutes. Look at that side chest pose. You can see this. I mean, he's got it everything. So it's just a matter of, um, you know, where, who, how they bring it this show. I think if it's like you're comparing everybody to Eric, and Eric is one of the first, is like the guy that they want to compare everybody to, he's got a good chance to land in the first callouts, right? Because yeah. Eric's not a really tall guy, so if, there's not going to be anybody that's going to really outsize him. I think there's like, in my opinion, there's like two big guys in this, two or three big guys in this show. And how many guys do we have? Like 10 or 11? Yeah. Yeah. So I think he's right in the mix because he's not going to get overshadowed by anybody. Yeah. So that is Jordan Trip Arthur. And lastly, we got Jeremiah Willies, who you've competed against uh, at yeah. the Mid-USA Pro. This is the guy who finished runner-up to you. Yeah. So yeah. Most recent updates here. What are some of Jeremiah's strengths? Um, he's got basically he's com- he's got a complete package. Uh, quads. Every- I mean, he's got everything is there really. When I competed against him, he's also a big dude, man. Big round muscle bellies and a complete package. The back is there, which some of the other competitors are having a are not quite there developed yet. I think he's, without a doubt, he's the first call-out guy, in my opinion. Um, and he's a threat for this, for winning this show. Now, the only thing he, if he comes in peeled inside out, he's got a good shot, dude. He's got a good shot. Because, I, like I said, I don't really think he has many weaknesses. Yeah, I agree, man. I think the condition is really just the, the one wild card with Jeremiah. Because he's yeah. got the, the full look. He's got every body part that you need. He's got the density. He's got the width. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, he's one of those guys you see back. You you see, you see backstage and you're like, how the hell does this dude make weight? <laughs> yeah. You know, there's some guys <laughs> like that, man. I get this sometimes myself. They're like, are you here for bodybuilding? He's got that. He's got that look. The round muscle bellies, and he's just big and full. So he's gonna be a hard guy to beat. Yeah, that is Jeremiah Willies, and that's our full lineup for the Fit World Pro. Yep. So Damien and I are going to make our picks now. Uh, so I figure what we'll do is just do a first call out and pick a winner. And I, so I'm thinking here, just looking at this lineup, just given it's a, a relatively small lineup, just 10 guys, it's probably going to be a four or five man first call out. Yeah. Um, five for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and assume we'll do five. Uh, yeah. Do you want to go first as the guest, or would you like me to? Um, I'll let you go first. Go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm still thinking it over here. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's a, there, it's there's tough so one. many good guys in this lineup. Hundred percent agree with you. This is a very tough one. It's um, I mean, it can go a lot of different ways, really. I, and like you said, there's so many guys with so many that are so balanced that it's literally gonna, it's going to come down to conditioning. Hundred percent. There's nobody here that's going to blow anybody out of the water that they. If they're off like 10% of the conditioning, they could still win. Does that make sense? Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. So I'm going to go. So here's my first call out. This is going to be the the tentative top five. I'm going to go Jeremiah Willies. I think Mm. Zanyar is going to be in there as well. Zanyar Goddardpour. Eric Brown Jr. is going to be in there. So that's three. Eric Avalon. And the this is tough, man. I. I'm going to go with uh, a bit of a, a wild card here. I'm going to go in his pro debut, Phil New, Ooh, the, the Chinese okay. American. I think he can okay. make some noise. I think he's just crazy dense, and the wheels are going to really stand out in this lineup. You know, so. I'm, I'm not. I don't blame you for that choice. I think I was looking at him, man. If he comes in peeled, he's going to give people a problem, dude. A hundred percent. It's like you said; those legs are beyond beyond pro level legs so and judges love that man they just from my experience they love that so he definitely has a chance that's a good choice um okay first call out i'm going with eric uh i'm gonna go with i should say eric brown (laughs) i'm also gonna go with eric avalon jeremiah for sure zanyar 100 percent man it's a tough one dude Whew. Um, <laughs> my opinion, 
Wow. Tough. It's, it's a really tough choice. A lot of these guys, the, the thing is, I haven't seen them. A couple of these guys, I haven't seen them at the really more than one or two shows at the pro level or no shows at the pro level. So it's hard to decide. Um, but in my opinion, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Kendall mm-hmm. on that first call out. And that's very close to him or Phil, but I'm going to go with Kendall. Yeah. Kendall's one of those guys where it's like, he's got everything. I'm just like, yeah. how's he going to look next to these guys? That's the, the biggest thing. In I, body. Think I think he's going to get the conditioning right this time. Um, just enough to, yeah, I think he's going to push him into that first call out. But like I said, Phil, is, it's very possible. Those legs are crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that, like, man, it's like every every guy in this lineup is, you know, has the potential to be in that first call out, just depending yeah, on sure, how the sure. chips fall. And I and even think, I mean, Jordan 100% has the potential to be up there, too. He's going to come in looking peeled. So, man, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. <laughs> I hope I'm completely wrong. Maybe just throw it all off, mix it all up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some yeah. crazy surprises, right? You love to see that. Yeah. So th- with that, my pick to win, I'm gonna. I think Eric Brown Jr. is gonna repeat. I just think he's the the most complete guy here, and is gonna be the the most conditioned guy out of anyone. Mm. So um, I I think Eric wins the show. I do think. It's going to be interesting seeing him next to Jeremiah, though. I think Jeremiah, if his condition's on point, is very capable of winning. And yeah, you know, um, yeah. I, I I was going to say the same thing. That's my choice as well. I think Eric, it's his his show to uh, win or lose, however you want to look at it. I think he's going to come in at a hundred percent. So the other guys have to be a hundred percent. Jeremiah needs to come in a hundred percent. Like you said, if he can come in a hundred percent, they're going to be battling for first and second. Um, I, I'm gonna have to go with that myself. Like I said, but it's anybody's show, man. A lot of these guys, I have the potential to upset. You know, they have great physiques. They they've got, and they're a lot of these guys are literally like right there knocking at the door. So you know, you know, you don't know what they're gonna bring. Yeah, absolutely, man. A lot, a lot of dogs in this show. It's gonna be yeah, a really, sure. really good show. Yeah, I, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna go down there and watch the uh the pre judging because it's it's oh, like nice. 20 minutes from the house. <laughs> That's perfect. I I wish they were doing a live stream. I haven't seen anything yet, but if there is, yeah. you know, we'll, well, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll try to put some stuff up too. If I, I can get some photos and stuff, I'll put it up. Perfect, man. Yeah, so that is the entirety of the Fit World Pro lineup, and those are me and Damien's picks. Now, before we get out of here, I want to thank again Damien yeah. for coming on and giving us his expertise to pick the fit world pro. So make sure you guys follow him here on his Instagram. Damian Patrick uses codes, support his businesses. He also offers coaching. If y'all are looking for coaching and check him out on YouTube as well. And before we uh, wrap up the preview, Damian, do you have any shout outs you want to give? No, man, but I, I want to say, uh, I hope you guys all bring it on Saturday, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Like I said, anybody can win it any given day, man. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a crazy show. And I think prejudging is set to begin at 11 Pacific time on Saturday morning. Yeah, so, no, nah, must contest, it's always 11. I mean, if they say it's 11, it's 11. They'll stop everything and get everybody up there at 11, which is great. Yeah. So that's going to do it for the preview today, guys. I'm Brant, and that's Damien. Oh. Make All sure right, you guys. guys thanks for having me, man. I appreciate you, brother. Always, man. Make sure y'all keep it classic. We'll see you later. Take care, guys.